Good morning. All right, so today we are doing one of the easiest things we can possibly do. Double exposure in the style of Matt Wisniewski and sort of in the style of Christopher Rolanda. Now the biggest difference that I tell the students with this one is that Christopher Rolanda looks at just nature really with the occasional house but there's always loads of bushes and trees involved. Whereas Matt Wisniewski, he looks at a lot of buildings etc and the buildings become shapes and part of the actual overall image. Antonio Moira, he kind of does the same. I'm going to do another tutorial on that for next week's lessons, but you can see that he kind of cuts off the top of the head and replaces them with buildings merged really awkwardly. Sometimes they're artistic and symmetrical, but it is quite awkward in some situations. Whereas Matt Wisniewski, it's normally a very simplified shape on the edge of a really pale background with the image coming through the person's face. Okay. So all I've done first of all is I've got a black and white image and then I've got another image of buildings. So those buildings, uh, you could say that it's very wet, Matt Wisniewski, you could say that it's Christopher Rolanda, it's completely up to you, it doesn't matter which one you focus on. First of all, just to get started, I've deleted the background already, so we don't need to worry about that. And I'm just going to grab this quick selection tool and make it about 50, something like that. And then don't forget, the more you zoom in, the easier it is to select your uh, where you want to cut. So you can see there that it's, it's cut it really awkwardly. So I'm just going to go to the minus, and I'm just going to pull back what I want to keep. So I want to keep his face here, a nice smooth edge, his cheek obviously. I need to, oh, I need to do that a little bit. Trim it all the way to the edges. So this magic wand tool is fantastic if you get it right. You can refine the edges. I've shown that in my previous video. The one where I basically zoom into Gal Gadot's head. I think it's Marcelo Monreal. And what I do is I cut out every little bit. Okay, so you can see that they're the parts I want to keep. Alright, so when I zoom out and then I've got it all. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold Control and X, and you can see that it's just cut the background out, okay? Now, I'm going to create a layer, and I'm going to call it Background Pale. So this is just going to be my pale background. It's a solid color. I want it to be not white, not gray, but kind of like a beige color around here, okay? What I'm going to do now is drop that right underneath everything, if I can. So I'm just going to bring that up. So I've got my background, then I've got the image of like the celebrity or the portrait, whatever you want to call it, and then I'm going to put this on top, okay? So I'm now going to just transform this a little bit bigger, so I can just make it central. The Empire State Building will bang on in the middle. And then I'm just going to right click that and then create clipping mask. Now, as you can see, very, very easy. Now, wherever you move it, it's going to stick to the layer mask that you have created. So, what I'm going to do personally is I'm going to put it there. I'm going to blend it out so that I can't see his hat. So, watch this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto layer two. I have to get my head around it then, which which is hard to do. So you go into your eraser tool. Oh, silly. Eraser tool. Uh, that's a little bit, no, maybe too, maybe, maybe start off a little bit bigger like that. Now this is really important. Soft round pressure size. Okay, like so. Oh, the computer's been a bit slow there. And then here, look, you can see where it says opacity. I'm just gonna start off really, really low and then I'm gonna build my way up, okay? So watch this, I'm just going to rub it all over and you can see just there look you can see that Tom Holland's face is starting to come through. I'm 
doesn't look awkward because you can see that I'm doing the whole thing. I like the subtlety of that. Now I'm just going to pump it up a little bit, that's on 14%, so if I just go to about 26%, something like that, and then I zoom in, and you can see that that just brings it back a little bit better. So what I'm really doing is I'm rubbing out the image of New York City. So that I can see. Tom Holland's face peeking through. Okay, I'm just going to rub that ever so slightly, just down the centre of the Empire State Building, but I'm just leaving one side of him. So now I'm just going to pump that up again to about 40%, and you can see here. You can always test it out on the hair, because obviously I don't like this big line, so that'll go eventually anyway, so I'm just using that as a tester at the minute. So I'm just going to rub his ear out. I'm just trying to make sure that part of his face is just showing. Now I'm going to go a little bit darker, sorry darker, raise the opacity a little bit. If I zoom in, you can see now we stick to his chin so that we can see where his face is. And his lips are poking out. From the Empire State Building. You see, so it's just starting to come to life there. And then I'm just going to rub that out so that his hair is obviously very, very visible. Raise your opacity again. So we don't have that line. So you can see now that Tom Holland is poking out through there. So what I'm going to do now, zoom in. I'm going to keep his hat. couple of these, maybe three or four of these, you can see I've done it in a couple of minutes, so you can get these into your PowerPoint, your portfolio quite quickly. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on layer one, so that's Tom Holland, drop the opacity right down, and then I'm just going to soften up one of the shoulders like so, go a little bit that, a little bit more transparent, you can see. You can see that his shoulder is actually blending into the background a little bit there, and that's obviously in the true style. So we've got one really sharp shoulder, and then we've got one where it's slightly blurred. Okay, and again, if you wanted to, you could just play with where you put the background. Don't forget, if you've already started with the blending, do that. You can go to image adjustments, you can make it black and white. So that you've got the black and white building so you could have one color one black and white in your portfolio put them next to each other talk about which one you prefer and why and then just uh yeah so enjoy